All right, so this is a suggestion via Discord. How the name of the video is uh, Nine Cool Ideas in Case of a Zombie Apocalypse. All right, let's check it out. <laughs> Guys, um, all right. Hi everyone! In 1968, the world wow, witnessed loud. the first ever movie to feature the living dead. The name of the movie was The Night of the Living Dead, and it marked the beginning of an era when zombies became extremely popular. Now almost everyone, even the kids who just started to walk and talk, knows what a zombie is. They are featured in movies and series, in computer- right. everyone knows you have to hit them in the head! Computer, console, and VR games. There are even comic series about the people who try to survive amidst zombie apocalypse. There are myriads of universes filled with these scary creatures. Okay. Which also vary in type, speed, intelligence, but they all have something in common. They are all deadly, and people who face them have to do all it takes to survive. If you have ever thought about the ways to survive in case of some unknown endemic would turn half of the Earth's population into the living dead, well, this video is definitely for you. Today, we're gonna tell you about the things that would help you survive a zombie apocalypse. Let's, Let's get it on. Guys, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna survive. Pretty sure. Staircase treadmill. Despite the fact that zombies lack intelligence, they still possess some basic human skills. For example, they can easily climb the stairs, and some may even unlock the door. Walking Dead. Guys, I cannot wait for Daryl Dixon to come out on, on the 10th. Well, I'll definitely be reacting to it on the channel, on the, uh, the movie channel. So you won't even have time to say, oh, before your home is filled with hordes of hungry, terrifying creatures. You can hide from them behind the closed door, that's true, but the second floor or attic is a better place to hide. There's more space there than in a closed room. Also, right. there's less chance you drop something and it falls with a loud noise, alerting the zombies. Yes, we have already said that zombies can climb the stairs, but we suggest some improvements in order to protect yourself from any kind of attack. All you need is to install the treadmill on top of the steps. <laughs> um, guys, I'm going to go ahead and rate some of these on, I guess, uh, plausibility. I think this most likely will work until enough of them get caught on it and they, they'll just end up climbing over each other. Just look, even a human has to make a huge amount of effort to climb on it. A silly zombie can't possibly deal with such an obstacle. Of course, eventually the living dead will find a way around this. Absolutely. But by this time, you will already be far away from the house. The only thing okay. is, instead of the door, you will have to use a window. But you gotta do what you gotta do to survive. Survival Capsule if you are very unlucky and your world has become something that reminds a scenery for a zombie movie, remember, the safest place is the one surrounded by water. Because in most cases, the living dead do not know how to swim. Well, even if they can, they're not smart enough to figure out where you are. Right. Okay. Yeah, I can definitely see like a like an island being a really good place to a zombie apocalypse. Definitely. Um, like, because once you clear everything, you're just gonna have to live off of whatever is honestly on that island. I mean, um, if it's a gigantic island, then hopefully it'll have some type of protein, right, sources. Uh, that's if the the virus itself is not airborne and all the animals actually do have it. But as soon as they, you know, are no longer here, right, let's see. Um, as long as those animals don't turn into zombies, like zombie bears running around, that'll be terrible, right? Um, but if they just expire, then that'll be a perfect place to be. Unfortunately, not all of us have a yacht to quickly sail away from the land. Few people have boats. Well, and even if you have one, the conditions for living inside are not always great. So we suggest a different solution, a survival capsule, like the one we are showing right now. It's big okay. enough to accommodate from two to five people. There's enough space for a supply of food and water inside that will be enough for five days. Yeah, we know five days is not a very long time, but it's up to you whether to spend five days in guaranteed security or five days in constant fear that a zombie can eat you at any moment. Maybe you will be lucky and in five days the military will deal with the zombies and the world will return to its former, almost normal state. Well, if not, you'll have to get out sometimes to find supplies. Yeah, but how about air? I don't like the capsule idea. That sounds absolutely foolish. Bed shelter. 
Suppose you live far away from rivers, lakes, and other open waters. In this okay. case, a survival capsule is not a good choice. What shall you do then? A smart thing to do is build a shelter like this by organizing it right in the bed. In fact, these shelters are designed to protect against tornadoes and other natural disasters. But why not adapt it to your special needs? Inside, you can store supplies of food and water. In addition, the bed is made of durable materials. Even if an item weighing 725 kilograms drops on it, it will not be damaged. So, if there is a giant zombie nearby or an entire zombie horde decides to attack the shelter at once, you still don't need to not worry about security. I'm going to be honest. That sounds good. Like in actual, like practical applications, um, like as kind of a panic room, maybe, maybe not, because I think it's pretty obvious that that's something weird has a door. Um, I guess as a, like in-house storm shelter type of thing that could probably work if the house does not completely blow down all around you, uh, you know, and things get trapped, you know, all around that thing and you're just stuck in there and no one knows you're inside of it. No one even knows to come looking for you inside of it. That could be pretty terrible, right? But I guess in case of a zombie apocalypse, maybe, right? Um, but right. A sky cam. Some of you probably wonder why we only show security measures designed for the house. In the end, a house during a zombie apocalypse very quickly ceases to be a safe place. Well, when you run out of food, there's nothing you can do but turn into an eternal nomad. Do not worry, the inventions from our today's list will be useful for different survival tactics. Okay. This, for example, will be of great help to people who decided to escape civilization and settle in the wild. Living right. in a tent is more or less comfortable. There's only one problem. Any zombie can crawl inside and eat you while you are sleeping and having nice dreams. But with right. the tent you see on the screen, you will be safe and sound. You, in fact, will sleep on the roof of your own car. And as far as we know, zombies cannot climb to such heights. In addition, this tent will be useful if the zombies suddenly appear out of nowhere. You can hide and wait inside until they are gone, or get a weapon to the roof and deal with all the living dead. Guys, I do this often, like this exact thing, uh, literally, uh, with a tent on the back of my gladiator, guys. Um, the, I mean, I... Bro, this has nothing to do with zombies, bro. But I get it. You just kind of come up with things that could potentially, you know, mitigate some of the uh, the, the threat at least, right? But um, I don't think this is a good idea because these are... No, bro. The zombie's going to climb up on here, bro, and start ripping out all these things. These, these are... This is not very durable, bro. It just isn't. Body protection. Bad idea. In mainstream culture, is a there idea. is a widespread stereotype that zombies are interested in brains only. However, there are films and series that show that the dead also don't mind eating other parts of the human body. We do not know what monsters we will have to face in case of a zombie apocalypse, and therefore, some extra caution, in our opinion, will not hurt. Right, full body armor. Control the neck. If the human population is threatened by the living dead, getting such protective clothing is a smart thing to do. It withstands blows from sharp and blunt objects, as well as punctures with needles. This means that a zombie would break all its teeth, but not bite through a layer of armor. Zombie Wrecking Cars during a zombie apocalypse, the ways to travel long distances are very limited. Again, the body armor, great idea. A absolutely amazing idea, the body armor, bro. You can use horses, but they are vulnerable. You can also use cars, but they need fuel. But getting it is not so easy. During the first few years, finding gasoline is not a problem if you try hard enough. However, driving around in a usual car can be very difficult. That is why we recommend you to take a closer look at these monsters. Get a car like this, and not a single living dead will get to you. Moreover, you will not be surrounded and trapped by zombies. Yeah, you will. You will, bro. What are you talking about? As soon as you hit one of those things with, I don't know, this one of these vehicles here, the zombie's going to fall. You're going to then run over it, most likely, most probably. And you run over enough of those, your vehicle's not going to be able to handle it, specifically if you're driving these absolutely pitiful, like, you know, tires on, on these cars, guys, right? If you're driving a pickup truck, maybe, right? With, like, a solid suspension and some, like, mud tires, and yeah, maybe. But those vehicles, no chance. These cars have metal spikes, built-in saws, rams, flamethrowers on the roof, and other deadly devices that will come in handy during a zombie apocalypse. Those street tires.
The most important thing is to install really good windshield wipers. Something tells us you will need them. I'm a pass Armored on this car. one here, guys. I don't like that idea. If you are not a person who's looking for the easier ways, then the cars that we have already shown in this video will not be enough for you. Some of okay. them are small and, frankly, do not look 100% reliable. Well, right. we have something else for you. Say hello to BVS-10 Beowulf, an armored all-terrain vehicle that embodies the very definition of the word reliable. It's on tracks also. See, now, that, now we're getting into some intelligence here, guys. But he's right in one instance, though. How is he going to power it? This car was designed for military needs, and of course it will help to survive even the most dangerous zombie apocalypse. You can quickly leave the infected city in it. You can live in it. Actually, you can use it to travel around the whole world in search of an absolutely safe place. There's a place inside for your entire family, even if it's big. The all-terrain vehicle can seat 13 people. Massive wheels will not get stuck in snow, mud, or sand. At temperatures below or above 40 degrees Celsius, there will still be comfortable inside. So you can go to the desert, to the tropics, or to Antarctica and wait in safety until the apocalypse is over. Hmm. Underground Bunker Unfortunately, This will also be a very good idea, right? Um, obviously, same thing with houses, though, right? Like, I mean, you're going to run out of food eventually and water. Fortunately, this invention will help you survive only if you have purchased it before, because it will take a lot of time to arrange a bunk. Oh, then I, okay, then yeah, what you can also do is you can just kind of funnel in like pipes for water from your house, potentially, or split it, right? So after your house goes, you'll still have water. You're underground. When working on a bunker, you will most likely encounter a lot of issues. Anyone who decides that he needs an underground bunker in the backyard will inevitably get the judgmental looks from the neighbors. Just ignore them. If a zombie apocalypse <laughs> happens, you will have a bunker, and they, they will won't. not. And then right. who will judge whom? Yeah, well, they're going to come over, over to your bunker, try to get in, you're going to tell them no feel bad for like a moment and then continue on with your day. Perhaps the bunker is the most secure way to survive any disaster. Inside, you can place the furniture for a comfortable life, prepare supplies of food and water, and install electric generators and all sorts of different equipment. Guys, my buddy has one of these, and um, the best thing I can tell you um, is to do like a shipping container. Shipping containers generally are probably gonna be cheaper, I mean, maybe around three or $4,000, and just make sure you line it correctly around the the part that's gonna actually touch the dirt guys uh because that dirt will corrode your bunker all right so just make sure you do that that's probably the best advice i can tell you because bro his ended up with holes in it because he didn't line it correctly um, but his new one um is lined amazingly no disaster will scare you, but do not forget to invite friends or at least family members inside. There's no. a possibility that being alone in an isolated space, even in complete security, will diminish your chances of survival. Protection for windows and doors Finally, let's get back to less radical ways to protect yourself against a zombie apocalypse. If you don't really want to leave your beloved home, you should take care of its safety. Sooner or later, doors with windows will break under the pressure of the living dead. Right. But windows and doors protected by special grids will hold. They can withstand the hit of a baseball bat, an axe, special and a knife. Grids. I'm guessing it's like dispersing the actual hit. A shot from a gun will leave a mark on the surface, but neither a zombie nor an attacker can tear the mesh, even with the help of the hole from a gunshot. These security measures also have to be taken care of in advance. But at least the neighbors will not assume that you are a weird person. From the outside, it would look like you are just concerned about the safety of your property and family. This is it for today. To be honest, Ooh. we hope that the zombie apocalypse will never happen. It will never happen. But I will say, uh, that last one is really good for just overall security, though. Um, like the idea of this, something like this that's actually functional. This is a really good security device. I'm going to probably Google it now. Um, I don't actually trust this section here, though. Right? Like wherever there are seams, I mean, unless it's, just, I don't know, bro. How would they have sealed this by, and by also weakening it by putting like a hole in it, guys? I don't know. Sounds good. Sure. Why not? Listen, <laughs> um, let me know in the comments what you guys uh, think. Which one of these are plausible? I only I think that a couple of them are um, for like safety purposes, guys. I'm not sure I like the uh, 
the that bed shelter thing though. Like I think that because it's like some type of like mechanism, um, what if you're inside of it? Well, I'm trying to actually find it here. So what if you're inside of it? And I don't know, there's like a glitch in the matrix or something or like power leaves, right? And then this starts coming down on top of you, bro. It crushes you. Yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like this one at all. Um, but all right, listen, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day and enjoy your day thoroughly.